Howdy folks, this is uh, Amanda 0073 cruising the land of burning out rubber and pulling into the car park with a handbrake. And it's day 13, flying back in for the third fucking time today. Hey, you're not supposed um. to say that. You're not supposed to tell how many times you've done that. God, your arms must be sore. The okay, okay. Back muscles are fucking sore though. No. <laughs> okay, okay folks. On to the topic at hand. This is a theory video. Pokemon Sun and <coughs> Pokemon Sun and Moon. And not necessarily, not necessarily the daytime, nighttime variety of Sun and Moon. This is actually daytime, nighttime. Oh really? Nighttime, daytime, nighttime. <laughs> Damn it, guys! Anyway. Look that shit up. That just look up daytime, nighttime, and you. will... Guaranteed, find it and find it fucking amazingly funny. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> sorry. On to the theory we were going to discuss. Now, this is not one that we've seen out there so far, but it could be there. Hypotheticals. Our theory is that the sun, the titles Sun and Moon are a deliberate reference to the beginning and end of Pokemon, with Sun. Referencing the start, or dawn, be, uh, again being the start of the day, therefore being the start of Pokemon, back red, blue, yellow, and green, yellow being over here in Australia, and the moon Wait, representing the end of po Pokemon, be it the mainstream games, this, or spin offs, or even the series as it is, after these games are released, that's it, who knows. So, and my other thing to that is, which we discussed the other day at Pool a little bit, but was the Pokemon Soul Rock and Lunatone? Now they're the, based on the sun and moon. I wouldn't. You're not. Now was now was that a deliberate ploy on Game Freak and the Pokemon Company's part as a deliberate foreshadowing to the end of Pokemon? Or, that, or that, could that, it have been with Espeon and Umbreon back in Jota being with Umbreon, me coming from the word Umbra, meaning the darkest part of the shadow. So could that be another thing you're saying that could be a very dark element to I think, these new games? Therefore now, meaning the partially to do with the end of them. Now my could there be an this end? One, this one is a real fucking bruiser. Because we've got... And this, is why, this, is why, this is why I wanted you in this one. Because this would help me more than one people. Two different perspectives. And this one, folks, we, do, we would love if you left a comment below. We'd love to see your opinions. So... Hypothetically speaking, we have Umbreon and Espeon. Okay. That is to make use of the nighttime daytime cycle in Gold, Gold Silver, and Crystal. Fair enough. By the time they evolve. That Sun, is. Sun, uh, Solrock, and Lunatone were Hoenn's. One of Hoenn's. Oh, that was what I thought of last night. Maybe hypothetically, they weren't, they weren't actually foreshadowing anything at the time. But the idea of. The sun and the moon um, having a huge impact on our day-to-day -day life, especially in an area where it's highly impacted by and the I oceanic. Just, and movement. I just thought of something else too. Hold when on, you, when you finish, Solrock and Lunatone weren't intentional foreshadowings of the name. It was an un <coughs> it was an end result of. Hang on, we haven't done anything to do with the sun and the moon, which are pretty pretty high impact. But what if the names Pokemon Sun represents the the start of Pokemon as it up to what it has been? It is celebrating the twentieth twenty year anniversary this year, and we're really that's twenty Pokemon. twenty year anniversary of the original games. Original games. So Pokemon Sun is paying homage is is the reference to paying homage to all that has been so far. Pokemon Moon is saying. We're at the end of this era, but wait, there's more. We are willing to accept that we are at the end of our era for now, but we have more coming. You know, this is just the start of a new era, or it could be the other way around, where Pokemon Moon is representing the we're paying homage to the end of one era. Pokemon Sun is let's get started on the next era, guys. Whoop whoop. Because mining, mining the fact that we actually have a new Nintendo console, the NX, coming out in March next year. Finally, they released when it's coming out. 
I can't give you an exact date. I think it's sometime around about the 17th, give or take. Oh, don't use that. that. Don't call me there, folks, because that more likely is not correct. That's just a random guess. I know it's March. I've heard of it. I have a couple of friends of mine who are in the biz <laughs> the games and to keep up with that stuff. So, anyway. What I was just thinking of before, which I actually thought of last night while I was snoozing in bed, was, um, now, I wasn't actually right at it, right at it when I thought of it, by the way. Um, think of where Soul Rock and Lunatown are found in Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald. They're found in Meteor Falls. Then also, think about what scientists believe brought an end to the age of dinosaurs at the end of the Cretaceous period, 65 million years ago. A massive you meteoroid. You asshole! <laughs> We're gonna have meteor strikes. Oh, I don't actually. I don't and know. Also, and also, and also, I think it would Draco meteor. Not that it's a not that it's a connection to what we were talking about, but but the, yeah, meteor falls being where they found meteor apparently ending the age of the dinosaurs 65 million years ago at the end of the Cretaceous period. Now, just if thought. that if that's possible and they brought about an ice age, could there be some sort of meteor shower or something involved with these games that brings an end to the Pokemon era? Where's Pokemon Sun games. and Moon set? Where's the game set? Actually, yes. A Lola region which is based on Hawaii. Now, well, the, Hawaii the, what we've seen isn't actually based on Hawaii. It's based off... Hawaii the, is actually the main island, but we call the whole series of islands themselves as Hawaii. What do you call the whole series of islands? An archipelago. <laughs> there yeah, we go. Actually, also, Hawaii is the Hawaiian Islands, which is a like more, more correct term, is actually one of the most volcanically active places on Earth. So there might be another shadowing with Volcarona. That might explain Being that a Pokemon one. that was able to heat the basically heat the Earth from its power, as it states in its Pokedex Center. I don't probably know the exact entry, but something along those lines. Now, hang on. Let me let me just now. Just can you just think of what you're going to say? Make sure you got it straight in your head before you go and say, because I'm still continuing my theory there. But the when I meant the oh, volcano, most volcan one of the most volcanically active regions. You've got Mauna Loa, I think Kilauea, as well. Kilauea. No, Kilauea. I know, but Kilauea. Yeah, Mo basically, Monolo and Kilauea are the two mo two probably most active volcanoes in the Hawaiian Islands. Both shield volcanoes, and they're two of the tallest mountains on Earth. Now, you're probably at. Now, I'm going to just diverge a little bit from the main topic and, say, and answer that. You're right, asking, how can they be the tallest? When. Er when but. The, it's like they can't write. Everest is the tallest. Actually, no, it's not. You see. Everest was measured from its base, which is on ground level. No, it's measured from the base, which is not on ground level. It's measured from its base, which is well above sea fucking level. Whatever. It's but it, Everest is about eight and a half. Oh, this is ge this is geology, half. man. I know, okay. but I know, but Everest is about eight point one kilometers tall from base to peak, give or take. Okay. But it's actually not. Can, can you let me finish? That's nothing about being fragile. To try not to interrupt people. Um, and then you're the one that does that to me more often. And I generally stop what I'm saying to let you continue. But anyway. So, taking that into account that Everest is about 1.8 kilometers tall, give or take, Mauna Loa is actually taller at about 10 kilometers from its base on the ocean floor to the top of the uh, the caldera, or, or whatever. Caldera? Caldera, caldera, same word. I've heard it pronounced both ways. Localization again there, folks, but that's going to be the main thing with a lot of work stuff is localization, but the colder, uh, the crater is what I should have said, rather, not so much colder, but... The rim of the crater? Rim of the crater, yes. The oh. top, top, top of one of those crater rim from its base is actually taller than Everest itself at about 10 kilometers, give or take. Okay, to explain why they're there and all that stuff, and until we hear otherwise, and it's confirmed otherwise... And the explanation for that, I'm just gonna give me a minute. I've got to try and remember. Oh, which which fucking video was it? Oh, what fuck? What are you done? I don't know which video it is. For what? To upload. Uh, let's play F1. Should be the same title as that. Yeah, but it doesn't come up with it. Let's play F1 three. Okay, I know which one it is. Um. I thought you would have known that before you did that. Anyway, thirty-six twenty. Yep. Okay. Um. Mm. So now it's thought that what the hell? It's thought that the volcanoes that arise from where you know Hawaii is, middle of butt fuck nowhere. <laughs> well, middle of butt fuck nowhere. It's off the west coast of the U.S. in the Pacific Ocean, just for a general location, folks. But it's like this. 
fucking way off. And it, it is, is about the and Hawaii itself. itself. Hawaii itself is actually probably like the fiftieth state. <clears throat> it is actually until we find otherwise, it's a hotspot. And the so Earth, is it, so is Indonesia, but anyway, the no, it is legit a fucking hotspot. The explanation for why it just popped up, you know. Yeah, but Indonesia is, is one of probably the most volcanically active place on Earth. But the reason for that one is because it sits on a, the tectonic plates. That and it's Whereas on the Ring of Fire. Why? What? The, what do you fucking think the Ring of Fire is? It's the fucking tectonic plates. It's the edges of the tectonic plates, especially. I wasn't. I wasn't going that far into an explanation. But anyway, the, there's. I think so. People can understand why the fuck uh, Hawaii is the way it is. Oh, I suspect we'll be using. They'll be using probably Mauna Loa or, or well, Anakula as one of the locations, as one I of the islands. We have to. So <laughs> fire type Pokemon empty. He tried. Who knows? So that's your stomach, boy, not mine. <laughs> Sorry. So, Hawaii is a hotspot in the middle of nowhere, and it is legit. I'm not kidding you. The legit middle of nowhere because it is roughly somewhere around the center of its tectonic plate. I mean the center and it's a fucking huge tectonic plate. We're talking it is bigger than the tectonic plate of Australia. Or hey, Australasia. Australia, Australia as itself is in the middle of tectonic plate and we have volcanoes. There's one an extinct one actually not far from where I live. Extinct. Extinct. That's, there's an explanation for that one but that's neither here nor there. Now that's due to some things have gone on but the re island region of Hawaii, the archipelago of Hawaii, is, sits on, well, it probably won't be as much anymore. Hello, stomach. Sits <laughs> on. <laughs> sorry, I heard mine go off as well. It sits on a hotspot. So the magma underneath the Earth's crust is circulating, and then. It basically it, finds a weak it point. It's, it's a weak point in the middle. A buttfuck nowhere tectonic plateish, and it goes. It finds the weak spot. You get enough uh, energy through it, and it goes boom. Except, then, except in the occasion of Krakatoa. Is it? Yeah. Just, no love, like just the massive just, boom. Boom, gone. Blow the whole thing apart and let the massive colder in the ocean floor. <laughs> and the over time. You get this, the the, the magma goes and becomes and lava, weird. and cools really quickly, and just goes fum, 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 and that's how you get the island, is through the magma coming up now, you coming would. up, and it, it comes up. Oh, really? And out. Really? I realized how bad it was. <laughs> and, but there's no real other way of putting this, it. it. This is the problem with that humor. It erupts. Like, it's an eruption. But That sounds a bit better. <laughs> but, because it's underwater, it's actually got a different name to it. It's really fucking weird. It's really cool. Guys, check that stuff out. Look that up. Talk that shit. Look, talk to some people who are real talk to geologists. geologists. This is a rudimentary low, uh, low very low end, <laughs> very low end rudim rudimentary university level. So, and I'm trying to dumb it down for the people for a lot of people who wouldn't have no clue. And actually, believe it or not, if you viewers have been been around your era, the Magic School Bus, one of the Probably one of the best things you can have watch that for that is the episode where they actually do go into a volcano and explore it a bit, or the game explores volcanoes. I forget. I don't think that's the actual title, but anyway, yeah, they are two of the best sources I found when I was a kid. Hey, I still I still watch Magic School Bus now, and I still play the games occasionally. Who am I to judge? <laughs> hey, I'm not great. lying. That's that's great. That's it's quite of the day, mate. It's quite of the day. Who am I to judge? Hey, it's, no, it's like one called Rant Logo, too, uh, if I can remember it. Um, I gotta think of it. Um, uh, what? So, so, um, one of the gets on the green, uh, put, put in the hole, get pulled in the hole, so it's like. Yeah, I think it's uh, something to do with my. My dreams usually involve, involve some farm animals and gallons of whipped cream. So, who am I to talk? <laughs> Don't run away. That's not the full quote, folks. I'm gonna hope to do a few videos that'll capture some of the quotes in that game as well as some gameplay at a later date. So Hawaii is based off the archipelago of Hawaii. Names can be foreshadowing. It could just be random. It could be 
quite literally random. It could just be. Well, to me, it doesn't seem random. It seems almost like a deliberate thing. Because yeah. you're thinking about it, all the other. Yeah, gold, silver, crystal, pearl, diamond, platinum. Diamond and pearl refer to the shape of the orbs for the Ogden Pocket and also Diamond and Pearl. Yeah, and you also got ruby, sapphire, and but they, you know, most of those ran that pair of all precious gems or precious metals. Then we got black and white, which is to teach that not everything is black and white. There's actually a lot of grayscale, which also explains which half the fuck with and Curum. But Curum itself has never really been explained because you never see his original form. Now, just on a side note, that's something I would like to see them actually like somewhat explain in these new games because they actually could come up. You could, could. Is, uh, is more on Kieran's original form when they have both Rishiram and Zekrom in a spotty port split. That would be awesome to see that, see some backstory there. Well, let's see. It may ha may happen, it may not, I don't know. But it'd be nice if it did. Fuck you, Sydney. So, you. You're Battling the Elite Four, sorry. So, you and I would both hazard a guess. It's foreshadowing something. Who knows? We'll see it when it comes. Let's just leave it at that, hey? Before we go too basically, far into basically is where, is where, basically, is where the main theory is that, um, yeah, the names actually do look foreshadowing to the start and ending of Pokemon. Be it, be it this era or the series as an entirety. Though I somehow doubt the entirety part for the time being because we still have the anime to go as well. And as we know, Ash will end up going to a Lola anyway, so... And he'll get all eight badges and challenge Pokemon League as to how far he gets. Well, we'll have to wait and see. We know he'll catch a lot of Pokemon and evolve a few, and... Huh. But yeah, we know basically basically the usual gist of Pokemon, so... So, yeah, I think... As we said, the main front of the video where we got a little bit sidetracked on the, the geology explanation and whatnot, well... but... Yeah, as I say, the main theory is just basically as I explained the start and ending of Pokemon as a series, or uh, yep, the yep. time, or it could be that like, could be going on hiatus too. Who knows? Because it's like that on that I saw like Bleach anime that's never been. See, we all assumed that it ended at episode three sixty six. They state quite specifically that it's it's on hiatus. It is actually on hiatus, so there is a possibility of it coming back now. Well, they, they said they're done for now. But they whether said, whether it'll be point. whether it'll be before Kuma finishes the uh, Got it. current arc, or with, after he finishes it, who knows? It may never come back, but... Okay, that that's one I can pretty much... Personally, i love to see it come back. I've seen animations of a few of the chapters, and they look pretty good, and they're just ones people have made. Well, I think it'll be anything like the Pokemon games, where people are like, oh, it's not coming back, or this is going to happen, rah, rah, rah. As soon as I fucking say something, I turn it out to be right. Like it's like crazy. way back like way back on um black at the time black and white came out. Oh. Serbian had actually conclusively stated that there were no we're games not after doing it. Doing any of them more? No, nigga, no, fucking hell, no. There is games coming out. But, like that's I what I said. No, I, I knew there had to be. Who's turned around black two and white two and said they're not doing any more games? Because that was what they said. That's what they stated. I said no. Nope. Look at the new um DS system. They'll come out at least one of them. No, you turn around like, and say they're not doing Ruby and Sapphire remakes. It uh, looks like they're not doing it. I'll turn around and say, look, I don't know when it'll happen. It'll happen. Probably happen within the next couple of generations. What happened? A Mega Ruby Alpha Sapphire. So, but I think we'll just leave it at that. Because if we go too far, we're going to miss food. We're also going to probably misinterpret what we already fucking know. And anyway, but know. by the way, not to say I was actually ever wrong on those games. It was just at that time period, with all the stuff that they were probably doing anyway. It looked like they weren't gonna weren't gonna get around to it, so I was never entirely wrong, folks. So, <laughs> what? As we're remaining. The what? <laughs> okay, this may take a while. <laughs> um, you won't be posting that while you're here, that's for sure, unless it speeds up. <laughs> um, the client, you want if you want to close the internet, I'll be putting it over here somewhere. Without pressing out of the, so long as you waste your. Own. Okay. Yeah, anyway, oh, I gotta chuck my DS on the church. He's gonna rig it. Anyway, so we will leave you with that theory and leave a comment, subscribe, whatnot down below. You like you usually do, and we'd love to see your opinions. What do you think? What do you think? <laughs> what? Do you okay. 
<laughs> in, case you did, in case you didn't know, that this is just our pun. humor. That was a bad pun. I know. <laughs> it was hey, just in, just in case you didn't know. Just in case you didn't know. Just in case you didn't know. Or should I say, just in case you didn't know. That's our sort of sense of humor. It's a little bit whacked. <laughs> and I put a little bit. Watch them all. <laughs> Haven't played that game in a long time, but that's one of my favorites. Good way of venting, viol venting some violence. Frustrations. So is a good beat em up like Dragon Ball Z Budokai 3 or something like that. Dragon Ball, Spyro, you're the dragon. We'll get to that, guys. We'll get to that. <laughs> we'll, look, we're going to be on games where we're going to do videos of, and we're lost awesome when we I'm get sorry. there. I'm going to have to fly out of here. I'm <laughs> out. Bye bye. Everybody signing out and flying out. And this is Van 73 smoking up those tires. Burn that rubber on out of here and signing out. Oh, that's so